sites are along the uh, old National Highway Pike. And this was also a resupply place. And they've got it all fenced off now. There's a couple of rock quarries over in here and we used to as teenagers just cross right over in there and then right over on the other side of the hill there's a huge rock quarry and of course it's filled in with uh, fresh water and it's nice blue and this is his little memorial here they've got uh, or the memorial for the uh, location but you know that's it that's all that's left they've just uh, this has been here since I was a teenager but a lot of the stuff um, just wasn't taken as seriously as far as trying to keep up with it in place as uh, obstacles or hurdles to back away from these. I'm sure these have been, well some of them are original, they've just been kept up, I do know that. <clears throat> but when we come through here you'll see what they would have actually looked like at the front of the battle lines. Um, and this would have given you plenty of time to slow down and take your shot with uh, soldiers trying to cross these. And these are probably a more accurate representation of what they would have looked like. And they've got some cannons and stuff out here. We're driving right through the middle of the battlefield that took place here. Really, once you've seen one cannon, you've seen them all. That cannon and stuff set up. But the uh, obstacles, the fences that are set up here, and they would have had both types. I think would have been set up there. Pick soldiers off as they tried to cross whole different type of warfare you know that you didn't have machines that would just barrel through something like that you had horses cannons and you were on foot all right now we are at the site of general bragg's headquarters and i'll let you read a little bit about that here. This is also a big greenway trail which is the bicycling trail and what they've done with these fences I'm sure is uh, just picked up the remnants of all the original fencing and then placed them back here or there as they would have been back in the day. Nothing still standing again. You just got the monument. Headquarters, Army of Tennessee, General Braxton Bragg, January 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 1863. And you 
you've got your uh, old fences. I'm I'm guessing these are the uh, original wood that would have been here during the war. And again, they've just restructured a lot of this. And then a lot of this tour, you can take on your bicycle. Do some exercise, because right there is the Stones River and the Greenway Trail. It just keeps expanding and expanding. I think it's a it's a wise way for uh, the city of Murfreesboro to spend money. Uh, and again, when it cools off some, we'll tour that a bit. But I need to be getting in better shape now. But I'm gonna wait till fall before I hit it hard this year. example of some of the materials they've used. These posts aren't original, but I'm pretty sure that these boards were actual barriers from uh, the Civil War. In fact, I know they were. They were uh, definitely from them. These posts, definitely from then, these posts would not have been. But this is... Uh, the design and fashion that uh, their barrier fences were made though. Alright, I'm going to give you uh, my action camera dashboard shot coming out of here uh, on the way to the memorial and that's the next stop we'll do and kind of give you an idea of how close everything is together and also give you an idea of uh, where you can stop in a motorhome and where you can't. You'll just kind of have to look and see where we've been. But some of these uh, smaller places, it's not so much traffic. You can probably pull in and back out or, or get enough room to back in straight in some of these short parking lots and then pull out straight with a Class B motorhome. But I'm going to shut my mouth here and just let you watch. I'm going to turn the air up. I'll give you some music to listen to.
course, where you're going to make your first stop, and uh, they're really nice in here. And you don't see any motorhome parking, but it's uh, Labor Day, so generally you could find a place to park a motorhome. I'm sure they're really, really nice staff. Today is really busy, like I said, it's Labor Day, but this uh, museum, and, uh, you'll see it in part one, it was pretty interesting, and all this is new. You know, even if you had to, uh, especially if you had a Class B, smaller motorhome, you can get in here, just back right in there.